Hello guys and what's up? So today on Codeflix we will see how to download files using PHP. So let's start. So guys I am in the www folder of PAMP and in that I have created a folder called Codeflix in which there is a folder called destination and we will see how to download the image one. So here is the image one in the destination folder. So we will see how to download this image one from our PHP script. So first of all we will start by the h, h tag header tag so I'll write h2 and say download file from here give a colon and then end that now I will mention the anchor tag which will be the clickable link so I'll write download.php and then I'll give the parameter as file equals to file name which is image one dot jpg and then I'll right click here so this will be the clipple, clickable link on clicking which will get the image file downloaded so if we see the output then it will be seen like this so I'll write localhost slash code flicks and then the name of the file that is download.php so as you can see we can see our uh, download file from here and the clickable link on clicking which will get our image. Now we will start with the PHP script. So I'll zoom a little bit for visibility. So I'll write an if statement. So not equal to empty. So if the parameter which we give is not empty, we'll use the get method dollar underscore get and then file. So if it is not empty, then we'll write our script so dollar file name which is the name of the file base name and then the path so which will be dollar underscore get and then the file which will be receiving I'll end it with a semicolon and then the path of the file that is file path and that will be the folder so the folder is destination folder and then I'll concatenate it with the name of the file so which is dollar file name here it is so now if we'll check if it is empty so if not empty the file name dollar file name and also we will check with an and clause if file underscore exists so if the file exists or not at the path so file path so here we will check if the file name is not empty and if the file exists at the given path then we will write the header files so we will define headers so I will comment it here define headers and we will write our headers here so I will quickly write the headers so header and then the first one is cache control and that will be public I'll give it a semicolon to end it another header this will be the content a small o and description and this will be file transfer then we'll write another header and then we'll write content disposition and then we'll write attachment the quotes won't end here And also giving a semicolon will give the file name. And the file name will be equal to the dollar file name which we had written. And this another header. And here this time the content type. That will be application and a zip 
which is the default we'll end this with a semicolon and the last header which will be content transfer in the encoding type of it which will be binary which we use it most of the times so that's it the headers are done so now we will write read file to read the file and here we will give the file path from where the file will be read the exit condition so the if statement is done now we'll mention an else and then we'll echo a string so i'll go below this string will be that this file does not exist so this will be the condition of the string which will be printed when we run our file so when i save it and run this file open the browser localhost slash codeflix and then the download.php file so as you can see if we click here a dialog box appears image one jpeg jpg file we save this and see the file has been downloaded now if we go to our code and change the file name let's say we do image here i save this and then i run it in a new tab localhost slash codeplex and then the download.php file if i click here i see an error condition that this file does not exist so this is our php script to download any file we can download any extension file using php thanks for watching